still got this. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> All right, questions for Ops. You look great. Where's the rest of you? How is that? Uh, <laughs> uh, been going? Uh, it's actually been fantastic just losing a lot over the uh, – Past couple of weeks, especially in camp, losing a couple of pounds just because you're working every day, sweating a lot. I feel faster, feel great. How much have you lost? Uh, probably lost about 25, 30 pounds like over my time just being at UK. How are you different on the field? Uh, I feel just more explosive, faster, quicker. I feel like I'm more knowledgeable of the game so I can read stuff faster and move my feet. Just do a lot of things quicker that I couldn't do before. It seemed like you were coming on so strong right before you got hurt last year. How did mentally that affect you, and, and what did you what did you learn, I guess, the second half of the season? Um, mentally, I feel like it helped me grow a lot. Like it definitely made me mature and learn the game of football, like, really thoroughly, just having that time rehabbing and coming back from the injury. I feel like y'all look at it more positively than negatively. With the transition and the change in your body, is, it, are they, is that affecting the way that you use you in the play style? Um, I've been playing both sides, not both sides of the ball, but I've been playing uh, end and tackle. Just moving around a lot, but we have a lot of numbers in the D-line room, so I feel like we have a we got a couple of versatile guys just like me that can play both sides, so we'll see. I can say you're a local leader, and you don't mind being hurt on the field. Have you always been that way, and do you feel that's your responsibility? <laughs> um, in high school, I was definitely a vocal, more vocal. It's just coming to college, you got to just find your way, and you got leaders in front of you, so you got to really see it from them guys first. Then when you catch on from them, I feel like you can get that vocal part when you really know the game. Um, just being in the D line room, he's he's impressed me a lot. Just coming in, being a big guy, like he has that natural ability. Like some guys just had that natural talent and he definitely has that part of it. He learns the ball, learns the game a little bit more, I feel like he'll be a great player. With uh with with Josh Pascal last year, I mean, he was arguably, you know, Josh Allen, of course, you know, was great, and then he was probably the best D lineman that was here. And your play style, like watching you, it was pretty similar to what he provided. With him being gone and how important he's been in the team the last two years, how much have you tried to maybe not not so much copy, but like imitate what he does, or how much are you just trying to make your own imprint, or is it kind of a blend of both? I feel like when Josh was here, he was doing everything right. So I try to just imitate, reflect as much as I can just off of him because, like I said before, the, you got to take that leading from the other guys. Once you get it from them, then you can go ahead and try to do it on your own. And he definitely gave that to me. He took me under his arm when I got in. So I've seen a lot just working out with him, being on the same rack as him, just watching film with him. Like He definitely showed me the way, and that's what I'm trying to do for the younger guys. He likes what he's seen out of you so far, just getting pressure, getting in there. How do you feel like you've been getting in there? And what are you going to bring to the D-line once that first game starts? I feel like I've been playing really fast, just being explosive, just being there when I need to be there, making the plays I need to make, just uh, being in the right spot when I need to be. So I, mean, I feel like it's going to be fun, amazing, just coming back out there, being in the ball with my friends, my guys. What's the rest of the D-line looking like? And how are the other guys next to you coming along too? They're definitely uh, growing. We definitely matured a lot. We're a young room. And uh, this off season, like, it just they really amazed me just – how much they really bought in and just started coming along. And like you've seen it over the past couple of weeks, flashing here and there, like the group was really coming along. Sounds like the O-line had more of their guys back today that helped them. And who's giving you a really good uh, book up front for that? Um, I feel like the, the three returning, the uh, two returning, Eli, Kenny, just uh, Flax, a lot of those guys, Tayshawn, like they're really, he came in. I feel like they all really just been working good uh, as a group. I play three technique a lot, so going against the guards a lot. I feel like Tate Boog really gives me a gives me a run for my money. Sometimes he's a big guy, big guard. Fox, you're going to be facing all linemen who are now bigger than you are. I got to think you, you're quicker, but is there any concern about that? Uh, no, sir. I'm not really concerned. Just go out there and play football. They put their pants on just like me. Well, your pants are smaller now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. How did, you, how did you lose the weight? Did you have to give up something you really love eating? Um, we were just talking, me and Sly were just talking about that, just uh, cutting out some of the carbs, just a lot of, I love pasta, so I had to get away from the pasta and the rice, the chipotle, stuff like that, and just really a lot of water weight. We were out here working every day, so put a whole lot of water in, it comes right back up. Is that tough because I know they push pasta on the guys that are trying to get the gain weight. Right. Do you see everybody around you eating it? Yes, sir. No, I feel like our nutrition ladies, they, uh, Miss Becky, they do a, a wonderful job. She gets me the right breakfast, gets me the right dinner. So I feel like they've been taking care of me, smoothies, things like that, just to stay away from the more weight gain. What's something that you 
you didn't know you loved that you now like you know yeah. was one of your favorite foods. Mm. Kale. <laughs> <laughs> hey, no, it's okay. You can say kale. Um, I'll say like uh, seaweed. You know, like the little seaweed things, like the uh, going outside of the sushi rolls. I actually like those now. Just eating them straight plain, like those are actually pretty good. Try yeah, try them. <laughs> <laughs> are you tired of facing your uh, your teammates? Um, oh yeah, it's um. Actually, I'm really not just tired of facing. I feel like it's been fun because that's what I've been looking forward to. Like ever since the injury, just not really the first game, just coming back out there, being with the team, being able to be out there next to my brothers, playing ball with them instead of watching them. Octavius, Kentucky is ranked in a lot of preseason polls, and that's been unusual for UK. How do you guys feel about it? Does that give you confidence? Is there pressure? I mean, how do you see that? I feel like we treat it uh, just like we did before. We don't really pay attention too much of it. Just. Just because we know we got to go out there every Saturday and put our game on film, go out there and play our ball. A lot of times people talk about that front seven, kind of grouping together. In that linebacker court, there's a lot of experience. Yes, sir. A lot of veterans. What, how do they help you on the field and off the field? What do people like DeAndre and Jock West? Uh, I feel like they're the best just, just because they see so much stuff, like vision-wise, that I can't see when I'm down there in my stance. Like, you'll hear them talking to me throughout the whole time play up until the snap just because they can see the things we can't see. Like, the communication is great, but that's just because they, like you said, veteran guys, they just been here, they know the game. And it's just, like, the leadership, bro, they definitely got it back there. We, we got a lot in the OLB room and linebacker room. We've heard Ramon Jefferson called a bowling ball several times. <laughs> What's it like? Somebody like him. Uh, he's definitely a great back. He's, he uh, excited me a lot today, too, actually. Just seeing him just going out there playing ball. He's actually he's tough to tackle. He's a little back, so you got to get a little bit little, lower to the ground for him. With the weight you've lost, can you just kind of talk about the technicalities, like how your stance has kind of changed, how your burst has changed? Just how does that moment right when the ball snap, how, how is your body just different, and how, how do you attack differently now? I feel like I, I play the same. It's just I can make my movements quicker. Like I'm more twitchier on my, my stance. Like I might be able to have a better first step than the next man just because I, I lost that weight. And um, just being more technical wise, I got to use my hands more like, just like you guys said, I'm not as big as I used to be. So I got to be more technique wise, more eyes, more vision, stuff like that. Like just to better my game all around. With the weight loss, do you prefer being at tackle or end? I feel like I love them both. Is that speed on the end really going to help you out? Yes, sir. I love it. I feel like uh, the speed has uh, been tremendous. Just uh, losing the weight, putting uh, getting more speed at the same time, like it just gives you advantage sometimes going against some big guys. All right. Thanks, Ox. Yeah. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Um, let's see. I'll send out a schedule later.